Baby. We don't die, we multiply. Can't spell ISO without that I. That last intro got copyright, but we back so like and subscribe. Just vibe to the guy that ain't that that C to the T O A. If you wondering where I've been, I came back just to let you know. Hey, hey. YouTube, I'm back with the crazy squirrel perimeter lockdown legend. You know what it is. No curse, these though, because we trying to not get demonetized. We trying to get to that 400k. You feel me? I love you, Grandma. But anywho, let me go, let me go in. You're going to like the video if you love your grandma. If you love your grandma, y'all, whether she here, or she not here. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, all the grandmas out there. Whether she here or not, if you love your grandma, go ahead and hit that like button. And um, let's get to the video. We are at a drip with tutorial. What's this, the eighth one now? It's a special one, though, because you clicked on this tutorial because I'm here to teach y'all how to dribble with only, as you can see, tier two dribble moves. And that's anywhere between 70 and 80 ball control or ball handle as I might say if you have between 70 and 80 ball handle you will have these dribble moves and this is just a video to prove that you don't even need 80 ball handle or 86 ball handle you know with the momentum to do to ISO to do anything this pretty much just oh you know all those people oh I can't you know I only have 70 ball handle what do you expect I have to zigzag and only use one dribble move no you don't you do that because you just don't want to try you don't want to apply yourself but obviously if you're here watching this video right now you you already win it because you want to do better as a ball handler as a player you're tired of people being like uh, you know you play like a bum and you play and it's true yes we do not play that winners win here because that same winners win do whatever you have to do win mentality that's the same mentality that every toxic build in 2K uses, the one we hate every year, the pushers, the, the post locks. They all have that same, well, I'm going to do whatever I have to do to win. No, we will not respect you. We will never respect you, and that's just the way it is. And if I have influence on this game, of course I'm going to use my influence to teach y'all to do better. Now, like I said, you just need about 70 ball handle. That's it. We're going to go to the badges, and the only badge you're really going to need, y'all, is that quick first step gold. Now, of course, handles for days helps. Bronze unpluggable would help. But the real badge you really need is quick first step gold. And, you know, pretty much everybody has that, <laughs> if you're a guard, at least, or even if you're not a guard. You're going to have quick first step. So you're going to need that, and between 70 and 80 ball control. And then, the last thing you're going to need is, of course, the SIGs which I will be showing y'all right here. Dribble style, it does not matter, y'all. Now, for the size up package, you need between two. You need either Allen Iverson or you're going to need Kobe Bryant. All that really matters is the R2 down step back. That's why I could say you could use either one. Some people like Allen Iverson. Some people like Kobe, but don't get it twisted. Those are the main two. Moving crossover to do these moves, Pro 5, of course. Pro 5 behind the back, yes, you need that. Moving spins, either basic 2 spin, Pro 4 spin, or Pro 3. Doesn't matter, like I said. Moving hesitation, Pro 1. One of the most underrated hesitations in the game. I'm going to show you why. And doesn't really matter about the triple threat. And now that you got that, that's pretty much the three you really need, y'all. To, to, to even attempt... Or to even just do any of the moves I do in this tutorial. And honestly, I think I'm a, I, I, I'm kind of like feeling a live tutorial. I think I'm going to do a live tutorial, y'all, for the first time. I'm kind of feeling that. So when this dude's done, I might VIP a few and just, you know what I'm saying, use my legend. But I think I'm going to do a live tutorial. Um, Yeah, before we get into that, just I want to say I love y'all. It's been a great month of May. Go ahead and like the video. Subscribe. Turn them notes on. Like I said, it's the eighth tutorial in. I'm just here to just try to make y'all good. Like 2K20, I, I didn't talk to a lot of big YouTubers that really got my head right and just showed me the real focus this year, you know? A lot of the stuff I thought mattered in the past in the old 2Ks I was, you know, messing around with, I talked to them and they're just winning and then <laughs> it's just, you know, I, I'm pro this is probably my smartest year and I'm gonna take this into 2K21. I'm seeing a lot of growth lately. Uh, I love all of y'all. Um, 
turn them noties on, and let's get into the video. YouTube, how y'all doing, man? It's your boy. Wait, I already did the intro. My bad. All right, check it out. So what we will be doing here right now is the first ever in-game tutorial. Yes, I'm gonna be cheat. I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to do the moves live in game i got the two controllers one up top one up the bottom slow down the vid pay attention you know rewind put it whatever you want but i'm gonna be teaching y'all the moves in game so the first one we want to start off with is the moving behind the back so that's the first one. Oh damn so to do this one all you want to do is run to the side and press r2 and right with the right stick It'll flip it like that, and then you're gonna wanna press down. You see? All right, and since he's doing it like that, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go behind the back, and then cross over back to the three. You see what I mean? And um, I hope I'm breaking this down right. Like I said, you gotta hold R2, press right, and so he can get the little flip. You gotta hold down with the left analog stick so you get the flip. And once you get the flip, you're gonna wanna use the left analog stick to go backwards and then down. You see what I mean? And yeah, that's pretty much the behind the back. And like I said, if they wanna play down, you can do the crossover back to the three or you can even do this and this will always get them every time too. You see what I mean? You just do fake and you're able to hit a three. But yeah, that one you really wanna just Run to the side, press right, behind the back. You can do the crossover, or you could even do it this way, between the legs, it doesn't matter. And you try to hold circle right there, that's why I canceled the animation. Don't be one of those, y'all. Don't be the dudes that hold circle. It's really easy to just, to reach, do what you want. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist. It's real easy, y'all. Like I said, you can even mix it up a little. All ways you could do it it's probably just one of the best moves because I don't have an 86 or 80 ball control to be able to do the speed boost and this is probably just the number one move to where I don't have to do the speed boost but another one I'm gonna be teaching y'all is of course the R2 down now if you watch my other tutorial I showed y'all how to do what you call peekaboos it's more like a you go this way and you can press down and then you can do it again it's all the R2 downs, and you're only able to do that if you go a certain amount to the side, if you watch, you see what I'm saying? So, you wanna, you know, mix up the behind the backs, the peekaboos, but yeah, that one's pretty simple. As long as you have my six, you just speed boost a little to the side, like, like you saw, and then you press R2 down, and then, you know what I'm saying, you're able to do the step back of doom, you feel me? And that's, and that's pretty much... <laughs> And that's how you do that, you feel me? All right, we're gonna keep it going with the new version of the tutorials, the live tutorial. Like I said, we trying something new, trying to keep things spicy, trying to keep things, you know, just, just never predictable. This is probably like my seventh tutorial by now. So I know any way I pretty much explain, it's usually about 90% of y'all get it, but the 10% don't. And if, like I said, if you don't, it's just all practice, people. Like I said, it's practice. Don't always go by what I say. Just and um, slow the vid down. Look at the controllers. Just do anything, you know? It's really just getting the grass now. A lot of the good dribblers don't even look at the tool. You see what I'm saying? Because they just, you'll, you'll get so good at it that you'll learn to do it in your own way. And what did we just learn? Oh, yeah, the run to the side. You press right. Boom, a little bit backwards. And the behind the back. Great moves, like I said, doesn't use momentum. That's one of the things that, you know, you really want to do good. And another one I want to teach y'all, when you have... <laughs> oh my God, sorry, I, <laughs> I was coughing. All right, now back to the Viv. Another move I really want to teach y'all is the good sliding behind the back. As you can see, you run to the right, you press down, and look at that. It gives you just that good behind the back, and you can speed boost out of it. You could just do whatever. It just creates a lot of space. This is why I say I like the tier two dribbling more than the, than the, I got takeover, damn. All right, check this out. So you go to the right and if he leaves you down, open three. You see what I mean? It's just, it's so, 
it's so unpredictable to, to just know if I'm a speed boost or I'm gonna just shoot off it. Like I said, all you do with this one is you're gonna run to the side and press, and let go of R2 and press down with the right analog stick, y'all. Watch. Boom. Whoop. One more time. Boom. 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 <laughs> right there. I ain't gonna lie, I was messing up. You wanna hold R2 a little bit longer. I was doing some peekaboo stuff. This is this is the real move right here. See? You gotta hold R2 a little bit longer and make sure you're getting a good little turbo. And yeah, that move is really OP, like I said. You could just spam it. <laughs> I don't know why they gave the 70 ball control ones the good R2 down, but it's just like just really good. And I just missed a wide open three, but I get it back. Don't always work out like that. Like I said, this this build y'all has about like a 70 something three. Still good. Can mix it up a little bit. Like so. And there's, there's just a lot of combinations with this, you know? See, he's just too fast to catch up with. I don't know. <laughs> just way too fast to catch up with. So, like I said, that one's a little bit easier. Run to the side, R2, you know, and then press down with the right analog stick. And you can spam that as many ways as you want, people. As long as you got gold quick first step, at least 70 ball handle. Anything between 70 and 80, you're able to do that just all game. All right, now that you have learned the move, what do you call that? The moonwalk behind the back, the the sliding behind the back, the little peekaboos mm -hmm. you've been practicing. Ooh, offense. See, we got on the court. Mm -hmm. I want to really get into. Do y'all remember the old behind the back that got patched? Well, mm -hmm. they. I might have patched it for tier 3 dribblers, but for tier 2 dribblers, they get actually a really good one. I want y'all to look at this right here. And I hope y'all know how to do it. It's R2, diagonal down, while pressing the left stick, diagonal up, and you will do something like that. And then you press down, and you see? So it's like a combination. You want to start off with that behind the back to the side, and then you want to press down with the right stick so that you get the little... Oh, what the heck? I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I did not mean to oh, do it's that. You know, the VIP me, my nigga. A trip in this situation. And when you press R2 down, I don't know why he got the long one. And then, yeah, we'll get the ball right back, people. Play a little deep. Oh, who's running at me right there? Who's in this? I ain't going to lie. VIP me, my nigga. In the corner, mm -hmm. I ain't even. All right, let me, go, let me really guard this guy. Ooh, okay. Bro, who is that on the left? It looked like a whole just swarm and it's distracted me. I like this guy though. He's actually, you know, trying to do something. I have, what's it called? Pogo. I could probably do it right here. See? You can speed boost off of it. Or you could shoot the three. Did I just miss a dunk? Oh, no, I didn't just miss a dunk. I just missed a dunk, y'all. <laughs> he has to he has to rim runner here, so. I run it. Get the ball right back. But, yeah, we'll do it again. And this time, we'll do a peekaboo. See? Just mix it up. So, you see how all these moves kind of just connect to each other, y'all? That's open three. You see what I mean? Just that behind the back, the slider one is just really good. And um, because you could just do a lot of stuff with it. Too big, too big. Um, yeah, you just want to mess with it. Do not do what this guy is doing. He will get dropped off quick. simple but um yeah you see how i'm using the moves yeah this is pretty much all you really need 
70 ball handle can still dribble in this game. It's pretty, pretty amazing. <clears throat> so what did we go over? The behind the back, the slide, um, the peekaboos. Oh yeah, that the moving behind the back slide. Like I said, that's R2. Diagonal down with the right stick and diagonal up with the left stick. So look at the controller. Boom. You know what I mean? And then of course after you do it, press down with the right stick and then yeah. So um yeah, I hope this is a good example because <laughs> the whole point of this video is to show the example of not just the moves, but when to use them, how to use them. You know what I'm saying? The fact that it works. This is really all just live. You see me going against sweats. Ooh, we got a bum. Okay, we have a bum right now, y'all. So in this one, let me see what move I could teach y'all. Hmm. I think, will it work? I gotta see if it works real quick, y'all. I wanna see if the roll to roll back works with this player. And it does, but for some reason, it only works when I have a mascot on. Weird enough, this game is really creepy, so. Let me let me try to come vlogs. Dang, he's in game chat. I kind of want to troll him. Dang, that boy, fucking ninety nine. <laughs> Is he talking? Stop talking. I'm good. Tutorial, boy. But yeah, we gonna try this out real quick. We just gonna see if the roll to roll back works. I'm not sure if it does, people. Let's see, boom. It doesn't work. I gotta put the mask on. All right. Let me go ahead and zoom out and. All right, so now hopefully that I got the mascot on, you'll see I'll be able to do the Steezo roll, which a lot of y'all should already know how to do. You know what I'm saying? Because I put it in at least two tutorials now. If you haven't, go watch the last one. And I've been did it since my first tutorial. But I'm here to just show y'all like how to use it and why it's just more deadlier with the 70 ball control. It's just that behind the back slide it takes you back really far you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna go ahead and try and demonstrate that we got sweaty mix sweat back you feel me just back and like why are you here fool i'm trying to make a vid and look like i said it works no, bro. And he's right here like leave bro okay this pissed me off all right y'all so you know this dude just playing way too up i'm forcing them all let's see if i can sneak one in Got it. <laughs> yeah, so like, yeah, like I said, y'all, you could just that one's just simple. You roll, and as soon as you roll, you hold R2, and then you press diagonal down with the left stick, and it should just bring you right back. You see what I'm saying? Boom, boom. And if you mess up, whatever. Just the way he's playing it makes you not even want to. Feel me? I'm gonna try to get a little bit. Let me see if I can catch him if I do like a hop step into it. Oh, I wanted to crab him. Got him. <laughs> Got him, y'all. He thought, he thought I was going to shoot off of it. You see how I connect all of them together? And that's pretty much what you want to do. Just be super. Oh, I could have shot that. What is he doing? What is he doing? Why, why are you playing D like this? But yeah, you see how you just, all these moves connect. That's why I really love the tier two dribbling. GG. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that one. You see how I just use the same kind of five moves over. And I just use different variations of them. Of course, the speed boosting, into the peak of boost, into the spin, into the slide back. You know, you just want to master those. And like I said, I have a 70 ball control and gold um gold quick first step that's all you need to do these moves and for some reason i guess i need a mascot to do the role <laughs> but you don't need the mascot to do the role it's just it's something about the body type y'all it's got to be something about the body type so as long as you have a certain body type you should be able to do the roles but um yeah there's really not much more to it i don't want to make a 30 minute video just for the watch time just to give you unnecessary those are the five basic moves and this is technically a beginner's tutorial there's really not much to really go over um i could go over just each move individually one more yeah you know how to spin them like real quick side pull r2 
to you know right analog stick do the flip then go backwards into a moonwalk all while holding r2 then do it behind the back and you'll do you know you'll do the little thing so yeah i guess i'll just recap it all just one more time you know all right and yeah this guy seems like we'll be able to do it so boom boom down go right past him um like i said if they're playing down you could do a crossover into it so run to the side press l2 at the end square um you could do the fake run to the side see if this works you know and then uh peekaboos peekaboos speed boost a little bit to the side you know let go of r2 so a little bit to the side r2 down get the shot I missed <laughs> oh geez look at the ball right back oh i like the way he spun <laughs> all right, all right. Try to get the ball back real quick. I'm gonna show. Let's show off the lockdown. Look, lockdown. This is why this is. <laughs> this is really stupid. You know, close scores gonna pick up their dribble unless they do the L2 stuff. But yeah, um, R2 down. You know what I mean, that's the peekaboo. Um, oh yeah, the R2 to the side. Press down. You're gonna get these. Oh no, he's in my way. Hold on. So boom, boom. You see what I mean? Ah! Side of it, do what you want. You got the old behind the back R2 diagonal up with the left, and then diagonal down with the right. You get that. Fair. <laughs> Um, and then the final one, which will probably be, well, we could probably do more of these actually. Oh! Easy. Um, and then yeah, of course, the Steezo roll. I don't know if he's going to get off me enough for me to do the Steezo roll, as you can see. See, I don't want to force it. I don't want to force it. And that was kind of one that we kind of learned on accident. Like, if you don't hold R2, you can just... Let's try that again. You can just run to the side and just... That's kind of OP. So he goes like, you know... Yeah, that's that's OP. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for this tutorial. I hope y'all learned something. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Like I said, go back, look at the controller, practice yourself in the mic core. I'm just here to just let y'all know it, it exists. It's here. I'm going to give a name to it. I'm going to break it down, but it's up to y'all to really get it. That's what the good dribblers do, but you should get it by now. If you watched all my other dribble tutorials, you should be getting them by now. And um, yeah, go ahead and like the video, subscribe, turn them noties on because I got a surprise collab coming soon. If you follow me on Twitter, you already know who it is. Over and oh, as you feel me, over and oh. But yeah, I got that coming out soon and we grinding. It's a beautiful month of May. COVID really still out there. It sucks. But, you know, the good thing that can come out of it is ain't nothing else to do but to grind the videos. You feel me? Just I ain't gonna lie. When they let us back out, I might be back on my, on my bull. <laughs> Y'all might never see me again. Enjoy me while I'm here. Love me while I'm here. You feel me? Parallel universe, cuz. Bro, they got a parallel universe, y'all. Like, what did that... Okay, a parallel universe where time be flowing backward. Huh? What do that mean? <laughs> Man, like, what do that... Bro, I knew, I knew I was in the video game, y'all. I knew this... I knew this wasn't real. I knew I was in a simulation. Like, what? Parallel universe? What am I doing? Why am I? Oh my! Look, I can't see this. Why I can't? I can't get too deep into it, bro. Anywho, shout out to the word anywho, cause anywho 
Like, subscribe. No, these on. These are the guy. Parallel universe. Ah! Oh my God! Parallel. Oh, bro, I'm, I'm freaking out, bro. Parallel universe. And on that note, parallel universe. Peace. I live in a constant state of fear